we are completely out of rum. Everyone, gather round, because we have an emergency. Captain, what's wrong? What's the problem? I don't mean to alarm everyone, but we have a major problem. We have no rum. While Captain Jack Sparrow is a great captain to his ship and crew, he fell prey to Gresham's while planning. He ignored the depleting rum supply, because obtaining more rum is a complex problem for him and his crew. Instead, Sparrow stuck to managing the more routine, standard decisions. So, welcome to today's situation. Captain Jack was busy worrying about the program decisions and forgot to deal with the non-program decisions. And you know what that means. Captain Jack and his crew are going to have to work as a group to decide how to solve this rum tragedy. And group decisions are great for accumulating knowledge, gener generating creativity, and garnering a broader perspective and more options for problem solving. Although, as the crew will find out, there are some problems with group decision making. <laughs> Man, oh man, the crew has wasted so much time doing absolutely nothing. They found the problems with group decision making. It takes a lot of compromising, and man, can it slow down the whole process. Joshimi is trying to help the crew avoid groupthink by encouraging them to share more creative ideas, be open to hearing everyone else's ideas, and think critically during the brainstorming session. Man, you are so right. Let's be open to creative ideas, right? Pinto and Rigetti. What do you think? Mm. Well, what if we pulled our money and bought the rum? How about we sneak into different houses on shore and take their rum? What if we asked other pirates if we could trade for their rum? William, being the devil's advocate, Hey, all of these ideas are valid, although we won't be able to obtain enough rum to replenish our supply by using these methods. Through the brainstorming process, the crew has two options, find treasure or steal rum. The treasure would produce the intended outcome of getting the rum, but it relies heavily on the pirates finding the treasure. Stealing the rum, however, would get them the rum they want, and they know exactly where it is. The only obstacle they need to get through is the rum factory is always surrounded by soldiers. Sparrow adds that the true pirate way would be to steal the rum. The crew agrees because this mission, although high risk, would produce a high yield. The pirates can raid hundreds of barrels of rum from the factory with no worry of finding the money to provide for it. Together, when night arrives, the crew sneak into the factory and the mission is a success. Captain Jack and his crew have successfully made a group decision and implemented it to get their intended results. <laughs>